My market's just not on Facebook. Guys, Kim here from Your Social Voice. This is something I hear so often is people coming to me and telling me, Kim, look, I get it. Facebook sounds really cool and I want to run advertising. However, my market's not on Facebook, right? And I just want to tell you right now that that is dead wrong. Now, the reason it's dead wrong Right? It's because we know as a byproduct of running ads for the last six years, as a byproduct of spending so much money on Facebook ads, that anyone that you want to target is there. You just need to be able to target them effectively. Now, that is the difference that makes the difference. That's the most important part is going, okay, cool. How do I find the right people? Because let's be honest, there's over 12 million people in Australia on Facebook. They may not be there all the time. They may not be posting all the time. If you're thinking about your ideal audience, however, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, they are there. I found people with no jobs to people that are running half billion dollar hedge funds and all sorts in between on Facebook. So that means that they're there and we can find them, but we've just got to do work to bring them in, right? And you're going, okay, cool. That sounds all good and well and good, Kim, but how do I do that, right? Well, number one is you need to know who your audience is. Right? You need to figure out who your audience is because when you're going, they're not there. It's probably because you haven't thought well enough. Yes, CEOs of big corporations are there, right? But you need to find out. So you're not just going to find it by targeting, oh, CEO. That's not going to work, right? So there's four key areas I want you to think about, right? So number one is that you need to put out content that's going to draw those people in. You need to put that content out and make it good. Right? Now, it doesn't have to be fancy, it doesn't have to be done like, like this content is here. You can do it, just pull out your phone and, and do some content, right? Because people are on social media to be social. So you can pull it out, make sure you got a little pop locker on the back. Be like, hey guys, Kim here, I'm looking for these types of people, blah, blah, blah. That is possible, right? That is okay, that is fine to do. But you need to make sure that you're doing content that calls out your ideal audience. So what I mean by that is it needs to speak to them and what their pain points are. The reason why I'm doing this video right now is because I know and I hear from people all the time, my audience isn't on Facebook. So I'm doing this video to myth bust it, right? I need a myth bust a big like sign pop up, right? To show you that it's just not true because people are here, you just need to be able to speak to them and connect to them. So number one is put out good content that attracts those people in. So if you're saying that they're not there, you probably just haven't done a good enough job of articulating who it is you want to work with. So I highly encourage you to do that as number one. Number two is you need to be able to identify and utilize the NOC method, right? There's three parts, we're gonna break it down. So the first is your niche. You need to know who your niche is. You need to know them well enough when you're creating content for them, you need to know how you're then gonna target them. Inside a lot of our programs, we use a process called the uh, the stakeout method. And look, if you want to know more about the NOC method, you can go to um, www.freeusb.com.au and then we have a free USB that'll break down how to use the whole thing for you guys. But what you want to do is first off, identify that niche. You want to go, great, I have my niche. Who is I'm working with? I know enough about them. I know their demographics. I know where they are, where they live, what they're interested in, what their likes and dislikes are. And you might be like, oh, that sounds hard work. Kim, why are you making me do hard things? It is hard work, but I highly recommend that you do it, right? It does work. So you just spend a bit of time. And if you go, I don't know them well enough, right? That's cool. Admit it, put your hand up. Yeah, that's me. I don't know the audience well enough. Take some of your ideal clients, take them out to lunch, take them out to breakfast, take them out for a coffee, take them out for a beer, whatever it might be for you and get to know them. If you get to know them, you get to build an interaction with them, what you'll find, right? What you'll find after you've gotten to know them, you'll be able to ask them, it's like, cool, who do you guys follow online? Like, do you have kids? Tell me about your family. Tell me about your likes, dislikes. Do you watch the footy? Do you know what footy is? Do you watch rugby? Do you watch soccer? Do you watch AFL? What are you like? What are you interested in? Find out as much as you can just in a general conversation. Go, look, I'm doing market research. I need your help. Give me some insights as to what you do and how you do it, right? I mean, as I said, we've got a full spreadsheet that we have over on, um, and you can get it on our Facebook marketing toolkit, www.freeusb.com.au. That's www.freeusb.com.au, and we get that posted out just for shipping and handling. But then you need to go through and figure out how you're going to articulate an offer to them. And this is something that so many people struggle with, right? And they go, oh, how do I then offer what I have? Again, you need to have a formula, which is, comes down to the copywriting part. But the way that I like to think about it is, if you told me that you had something, right, and it was that good, 
Would I kind of push you out of the way a little bit to run over and grab it? Do I want to be the first one to get it? Because a lot of times we're like, oh, a free report or this or that. And they don't have the offer done properly. So the way that you can do an offer properly is to go, cool, what is? what am I going to promise them as the outcome? And if they actually went through and they did it perfectly, think about your ideal client. If they did everything that I told them perfectly, what would be the outcome that they could achieve? What have I achieved or what could they achieve if they had done everything I showed them perfectly? They might be able to achieve X, Y, or Z, you know, make money, uh, lose weight, uh, buy a better house, save for their family, you know, become a better lover, whatever it is that you do, right? All those things, if you articulate that properly to them, right, where people go, hmm, I want that. Get out of the way, Sean, get out of the way, Peter. I'm gonna run over and I wanna get it first. That is what you want to do, right? That is what you wanna be able to do and articulate to them. And how do you articulate to them? You need to write good copy, right? Become a copywriter, which is just salesmanship in print. If you can articulate what you can do better than anyone else and how you can help them and that you understand their fears, frustration, thoughts, problems, you win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? That will be the way that you'll be able to do that. So again, you need to articulate it to them. You need to be able to write that out in copy. But Kim, I'm not a copywriter. Cool, again, if you need help, just go to www.freeusb.com.au and I'll give you a copywriting formula on there. Just cover the shipping and handling. That's all you got to do, right? So if you're going to write it, go, hey, who they are? I know what your problem is. I can help you out. Let me help you. Sounds simple, but if you just did that, you'll be successful, right? And those are the three parts of the NOC method. And if you do that properly, you're gonna be able to find your ideal audience. Right? I've had many people, time and time again, tell me they're not on there, and then we find them. Right? We take them through our mobile system and we help them find them. And that's what I want you guys to do, is to take that, those nugs, those little cheeky nugs there, and go out and do that right for you and your business. So to reiterate, number one is you need to create content that draws them in, that speaks to them. Number two, identify the niche. Number three, identify the offer. Number four, write that offer out with articulated, well put together copy. Doesn't need to be fancy, right? You don't need a 65 point copywriting checklist. You just need to know that you can articulate their problems better than anyone else. If you do that, you'll be successful. If you need help with that, as I said, just go to www.freeusb.com.au. You can have that uh, on us gratis, if you will, and Take that and use it if you need help with that. Otherwise, just do those four things and you will be successful and you'll be able to find your audience on Facebook, right? So don't be going telling me that they're not there. They're there. It just takes some time to do it. It takes some time to find them, but you can find them, right? If you can find them and you can hire them, maybe you can hire the A-team. I'm just joking, guys. This is a joke. You can laugh at that. It's fine, right? But you will be able to find them if you do. It takes time. Sometimes it takes iterations, but it will work. So if you like this, please, if you're on YouTube, make sure you like, subscribe, give us a cheeky comment, let me know what you thought, right? If you're watching this anywhere else, that's cool too. Uh, but make sure you do that. Get on to www.freeusb.com.au. Until next time, guys, I am Kim Barrett. Y'all have been awesome. Adios.